Krishna's weird. Interesting. Okay. E F E G A G E F A G. See, I fucked up again. <laughs> yeah, I'll start from the top. Yeah, when I was really, really young, my parents played a lot of music for me. Um, my dad's a big music head, and he studied opera in college, and he plays a little bit of guitar. And the first thing I crawled to when I was uh, three was like his guitar. And I was like bashing on it, and I basically forced my dad to get back into guitar. Uh, and he played stuff for me, and I'd memorize and play it right back, so I never actually learned how to read sheet music, which is a problem for me still today. Um, I, I can read sheet music, obviously, but like, I, it needs a lot of work. Um, I had really bad eyesight as a kid. I had to do like a lot of eye therapy. Um, I had glasses. I like basically had dyslexia, so I had to do a lot of work on that when I was young, and that made reading, 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 like regular reading. A struggle on its own. The sight reading musically never really caught up. I'd say that has to be the biggest through line of musical struggle throughout my life because I've always been working on reading and I'm still not good at it. So I just make sure to practice daily and keep working as hard as I can. Even as a composer, like I'm listening to the sound of the note that I'm putting on the page, not looking at the note that I'm putting on the page and associating it with a sound. So like Sheet music is very much instructions on how to make music and not music itself for me. Like there's stuff that I know and hear and am able to play, but like if you show it to me on a piece of paper, I won't be able to play it on guitar. Like, and that's crazy. Like I'm a college level professionally working musician. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to read something on a page. The next goal is understanding sheet music as it relates to my instrument well enough to be able to read anything. Um, and I'm excited for the challenge, but it's really fucking hard, so. What attracts me to jazz as a genre is the disconnect between the sheet music and the music. A lot of stuff goes unsaid on the page, so it leaves a lot of room for performers to think up things. Today, I'll be having Ben Lindenberg and Andre Sidol coming in to run Piangero A Prime. Let's do Tempo de Lair now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four. and you trust. It's just like everything I hope for from the kind of project. It makes life a lot easier for me. I'm not really like stepping around eggshells. Normally I don't have to ask for anything. So you don't have to pay us. And I don't have to pay them, which is amazing. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> when you put this much time into something and you create goals for yourself and you actually fulfill them, there's something rewarding about that process and that accomplishment. Uh, before anyone validates it or before anyone doesn't, or um, you know, just, just doing things that you say you're gonna do, and uh, for the sake of creating.